Good morning everyone, Lori Marie here, Mixed Media Artist in Vallejo, California. Let's have some fun together today, huh? I made a couple videos on how to make tags out of old book covers. So uh, I just want you to know that I am human and I do make mistakes. And I made a mistake in the uh, first video on how to create the tag out of an old book cover. And I used the wrong side of the book cover. Here's this yummy green side of the book cover, and I totally used the white side. So, halfway through the video, I noticed it, and it's just like, well, there you, <laughs> there you have it. My humanness is hanging out, and with art, there are no mistakes. So, I just walked forward. So, if you do make the tags for on the boxes, use the yummy side of the book cover, because it will be golden or green or red or something fun and uh, and the videos out there now so <laughs> there you have it and then I uh, made a tag and put it in my altered book on a two-page spread and uh, I'll, I'll include the video for that one too because that's really fun I did not make a mistake on that one I did the correct side but then somebody's like, so what are you going to do with those pages? Are you going to embellish them or what? And I'm like, huh. oh, well, I just took 20 minutes of your time and made this video on how to make tags. And now you want to go forward? I'm in. So this morning before the sun came up, I grabbed my altered book and uh, opened it to the two-page spread and embellished it. So now the sun is up. I can do the intro, intro so you can see my face and uh, go play. This was really fun. I didn't have a plan, so I just uh, went forward and played on the, on the desk. See you on the table. Good morning. You know it's dark o'clock out there. I was working on some tags. Then I decided to play with my uh, altered book, but I didn't want to do that without you. We put the tag in there, that was the last video, and uh, somebody said, so what are you going to do with those pages? So I don't know what I'm going to do with those pages, but they are ready for something, and we are going to do that this morning. So here's my packet of focal points that I'm going to go through. This is where I have my underpants. I really don't need underpants on the page because we've got this yummy background. Don't want to cover that up too much. And then of course there's just scattered ephemera on my work surface. Ta-da! Lots of fun things here. So I am going to go through my focal points and bring you back when I've decided on something. All right, after playing with some focal points, little bits of little bits. <laughs> I've come up with something like this. I also have my Stabilo and then a black roller pen and gesso on my thumbnail. Sherry, you know why that's there. <laughs> Sherry had a gesso explosion in class yesterday. So anyway, back to this. These are just some focal points that I picked out. I just found them interesting so I just placed them on there. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and glue them down. They may end up like this. They may end up a little bit different. This says the missing money, so I don't want to hide that. So I'm going to glue some stuff down. So I left my uh, Mod Podge jug at school, at class yesterday, uh, intentionally. I didn't think I would be playing, really. But here I am. So I also have Mod Podge in this white glue, in this gruesome looking white glue container. So I'm still using Mod Podge, but uh, more with my fingers than a brush today. And this I want to make sure not to cover my missing money words. Any place that it goes over, like it's going over these grommets, I'll take care of that after it dries. 
I'll just poke that back out. And these edges here, I'm going to let these dry and then I will trim that off. Probably um, just tear them off. I'm going to go through with my paper towel, make sure everything is stuck down, take off the excess Mod Podge. Everything seems to be glued down fairly well. I'm going to let this dry and then we'll come in with our Stabilo. Looks pretty great already, right? Yep, looks pretty great already. Alright, I decided to put Mod Podge over both pages, but not on the tag. That way we'll have a little bit of a difference between the finishes. Although I use a matte Mod Podge, it does have a bit of a sheen to it. So Everything will have a sheen to it except for the tag. That'll be fun. All right, I'm going to put this under my desk where the heat vent is. Let this dry, then we'll play some more. All right, we are all dry here. The Mod Podge makes it a little bit easier for the uh, Stabilo as well. The edges have been inked, so they're not so important that you Stabilo them. But loving the Stabilo as I do, you bet I will use it everywhere. So if you haven't used a Stabilo, I highly recommend it. It gives it this nice smoky finish. I'll leave a link in the notes. You can go to Amazon and, and order one. And what I can tell you is I get credit for everything that you order on Amazon, so I appreciate any and all support around that. So I'm just going to go around all of the little images, all the little bits and pieces that I've glued on. So you darken the edge with your Stabilo, add a little bit of moisture. I just touched my tongue. <clears throat> Pardon me, that might bother some of you. So you can dip your finger in some water. Not too much though. You just want to blend it. All right, I'm going to do this. You don't have to watch me do it all. But I'm going to, in your absence. All right, I went around the edges with my Stabilo, which I love. And then I've already started to doodle a little bit just around the edges here, and I will doodle these, this two-page spread. I want to talk to you about copyrights. Um, if you are mass producing something, that's when you will get into trouble. I do not make copies and mass produce. They're one-offs. And like this image right here, this is not a photocopy of this. This is the original out of an art magazine. So I do not mass produce my art. So that's good to know, right? So just go forward, have fun, doodle, and that's your two-page spread. Oh, the sun is almost up. Oh my goodness, and I've doodled. So here is the finished doodled piece. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. Thank you for keeping me on my toes and not leaving my pages empty. Oh, you guys are amazing. So thumbs up, you like it. Thumbs down, you don't. Tell me why you don't. You guys are very, very good about your comments. I appreciate it. So go create, go play, go have fun. We'll see you next time.